Good morning, beloved of Jesus. It's Brother James here. Now, I don't know if you heard the message, uh, Calvary Cambridge on Sunday, but the message was all about authority. And in the message, you can check it out, this is our authority, amen? I'm sure you'd amen that. And I was calling people to pray and fast. We've been doing this for a little while now with wonderful results, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing today is calling people to pray and fast from 12 o'clock today, UK time, a 24 hour fast until tomorrow, Wednesday, 12 o'clock UK time. This means teas, coffees, juices, water, that's absolutely fine, it's just abstaining from food. I'll be sending out a few links underneath which you can check out about fasting. On this note, those who've got health conditions, please check before if you're using heavy machinery, be wise, seek the Lord, and maybe you can fast from something else. Maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's Facebook or whatever, but we want to be bringing you involved in a church fast worldwide together. It's all about one thing, unity, unifying people that we're seeking the Lord and humbling ourselves together in his presence. Now, in this message of authority, I've just noticed, maybe even in myself, maybe you've noticed as well, a rebellion within us, that bit of fallen man, that residue still in us and much of it is about the government about the authorities not liking what's going on in the world at the moment however the bible which is our sole authority for faith and practice calls us to pray and intercede for the government in fact it calls us to pray and intercede for all men so the key focus for our fast today is to humble ourselves before the lord and pray for those in government, prime ministers, presidents, maybe ministers in church, your local MPs, but that we're unified in it, that we're being obedient to the authority. Just let you know that this word authority is connected with the word author and the word authentic. This is what the root is. And for us to be authentic followers of Jesus, we must do what the author of life calls us to do, which is to pray for all men and humble ourselves before him and i just want to read a wonderful promise in the bible for those who humble themselves before him this is in second chronicles chapter 7 it's an amazing passage it's when god appears to solomon for a second time this is what the lord says listen to this it says if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn for their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to prayer made in this place for now i've chosen and sanctified this house listen to this bit that my name will be there forever and my eyes and my heart will be there perpetually we now embody we have the holy spirit within us this is the household of god the household of faith for those who have put their trust and faith in jesus if we humble ourselves before his throne of grace he will hear and answer our prayers so let's be united in this all those calvary cambridge jesus is truth whoever around the world to fast and pray for these for those in authority now i have to add this okay remember when jesus stood before pontius pilate and pontius pilate said to jesus do you not realize i have the power to have you crucified jesus said you'd have no power over me unless it was given from above and jesus recognized where that authority comes from so let's recognize where our authority comes from in jesus Now, he's the author and finisher of our faith. He is the authority. He is the power that's over us. Now, I understand, believe me, there's a time coming where there is a line being drawn in the sand. And this is what Peter says in the book of Acts, chapter 5. It says, we ought to obey God rather than men. But until that time, brethren, let's work with what we have by coming together and bowing down to the sole authority, like I said, of our faith and practice, which is 
King Jesus. So let's be unified in this and endeavouring to keep the spirit of unity and the bond of peace. Let's do this together for the Lord Jesus, for him and for his kingdom. Amen? Amen.